guys in lace fronts where we do reactions reviews and commentary on the youtube channels you love to watch guys if you're not subscribed here i don't know what you're waiting for go ahead hit the subscribe button make sure your notifications are set so that when i go live or drop a video yeah you can be notified right away guys today we are going to look into my jazzy life yeah my jazzy life has been doing um the least and trying to get the most and um it, it it's just yeah let's let's talk about it okay yeah jasmine has been really trying to play on people's sympathies jasmine is trying to play a role let's let's see what's going on here what's going on here are you copying me are you copying me are you copying me are you copying me? so jasmine has been going on and on about this for a while she is trying to run a narrative that she is a stay-at-home mom she is a single mother of five children with two baby fathers one of which is in prison and one who works occasional jobs probably works maybe a little over a part-time job to support her family but says that she uses her hobby to support herself which her hobby is youtube jasmine low-key is on public government assistance and probably on section 8 housing and jasmine likes to run a narrative of a middle-class housewife who is a stay-at-home mom and that is far from the case so recently jasmine has been trying to run a narrative along with her friend uh olivia from lives life that they are bu bullied and abused uh youtube uh youtubers and that people are bullying them into some sort of depression and inability to post videos and want people to feel sorry for them and um just a whole entire storyline that couldn't be further from the truth and now let's listen to this and but at on the other side, people be like, well, you need to have thick skin. But honestly, it's not even about having thick skin on social media anymore. Human. It's about like, come on now. These people are on here bashing you for no reason. Like someone, what does this say? They, they like to flip stuff and say stuff like, Chris said, my, wait, what did he say? Ash, Ash. To be real, YouTube pays pennies. So like any, any view that you watch, um, or any view that we have, like, honestly, that's fractions of pennies, for real. Um, here we there, go with craziness. I know. As for, you know, and it's, this is so... Thank you. <laughs> you said what? I was telling Tierra, if she's talking to Alma and vice versa, so we can keep a cop. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot I could... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, it's... I don't know. I'm just so tired. I'd be so tired of YouTube sometimes, but I'm like, girl, I love YouTube. Like, this is something, it's therapeutic for us, especially us mm -hmm. stay at home moms. I feel like it's something that's really therapeutic. And, but at, on the other side, people be like, well, you need to have thick skin. But honestly, it's not even about having thick skin on social media anymore. Human. It's about, like, come on now. These people are on here bashing you for no reason. Like, someone, what does this say? They're, they they like to flip stuff and say stuff like, Chris said my wait what did he say? Ash Jazz when her da daughter sitting on um. Chris has been a father figure to my kids, so I, I don't get people like they make it seem like he doesn't take care of them. He is their like their stepdad basically. Yeah, we're not married yet, but he's going like we're planning on doing that, so he's there taking care of them. I don't know why people like to make stuff. They just have thick minds. I just, oh, I just, I'd be so tired, y'all. I don't know how y'all deal with how everybody be dealing with. <laughs> I'm ready quit sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a baby channel, so they don't come over here because I'm boring. Same. So <laughs> boring. <laughs> no, actually, like I got a taste of it the other day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what it's like. Girl, you're It'll not be boring. like little things, like, oh, Rachel, you gave your kids frozen meals again, and Girl, I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, they're eating. I mean, <laughs> okay. So here's the thing for me. Um, so Jasmine is good friends with Tierra, who is in the top left. Below her is the Bailey bunch, who says she's given up or left the black 
uh, community because the editing's better, it's friendlier, it's nicer. There's all just kinds of just, you know, doxing and trash going on in the black community. Well, it's happening everywhere on YouTube. You might just be tuning into channels where that's not happening, but trust and believe all of the things that you mentioned, kids' hair not being combed, mommies being criticized, fat shaming, all of the things are happening everywhere on YouTube. It is not some sort of paradise just because you click on Tribe of Many. I enjoy Tribe of Many too. I enjoy lots of these large mommy channels, but at the end of the day, they get the same shenanigans just like everybody else. Yeah, true. Actually, I have an unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. I left the black community, y'all. Girl, I <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Actually, I have an unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. I left the black community, y'all. Girl, I <laughs> 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 have an unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. I left the black community, y'all. Girl, I <laughs> 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 I've been watching the, the white YouTube mods for a good minute. Hey, do but the they drama. don't have that much negativity. I yeah. feel like they uplift each other a lot in, in, in the white they community. They collab, it's always peaceful, good editing, and then you come here, it's like, oh, somebody got docs. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, somebody didn't brush their hair. But that's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching the, the white YouTube mocks for a good minute. Hey, do but the they drama. don't have that much negativity. I yeah. feel like they uplift each other a lot in, in, in the they white community. They collab, it's always peaceful, good editing, and then you come here, it's like, oh, somebody got docs. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, somebody didn't brush their hair. But that's so Yeah. This is the deal for me also. If you want better, then do better. I mean, I'm sorry, but across the board, these three women right here, these four actually, are depicting multiple stereotypes the bonnet mom the uh you know multiple children i don't know what their family situations are but we know jasmine has five children with two baby fathers one is in prison um the other mommies could have husbands i don't know and honestly i don't care at the end of the day these four women are not anything that anybody in any other community are going to be running to to embrace as being some sort of beacon of hope and measure and um example they're just some regular ass mommies just like everybody else i'm assuming trying to do the best that they can but they have latched up with this woman who thinks it was smart to get on TikTok and do a skit about popping your kid when this woman has had multiple, multiple run-ins with CPS, investigations on the care of her children. Here she is in a recent video going to buy sleep aids for her baby that is only eight weeks old, that she is so busy on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram that she doesn't seem to want to rock to sleep. She just wants to dose to sleep, in my opinion, based on the video. And only eight weeks after pregnancy, she tops it off with doing pregnancy tests. Okay, like this woman is so irresponsible. Is there anything wrong with having a baby eight weeks after you have a baby? Um, that's debatable. For most women in, uh, in the United States and in industrialized, in sophisticated, modern countries, don't see having back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back babies as the thing to do anymore. It's 2021. But Jasmine, because she's unmarried to a Dusty, thinks that the way to keep him around is by obligating him to additional children. This is a man who already has four children. He doesn't live under the same roof with three of them. He's got one there with you. He may have a little better than a part-time job. We don't really know what he does. He may work some sort of a security job, but at the end of the day, these are two people who are very dependent on their incomes or the kindness of the state or the federal government for things like food stamps and medical care. And this is a woman 
who just thinks it's absolutely cute because she just got a new wig to go and do a live pregnancy test because she doesn't have any other provocative or compelling content. She is relegated like most of us moms who are living regular mom life, making sandwiches, um, buying band-aids, doing meal plans, cleaning up houses, and working regular jobs and just doing what we have to do to support our families and make sure that our families are happy. At the end of the day, uh, my jazzy life, it's really unfortunate. As someone who talks about her college career all the time, somebody who always wants to talk about how she had a full-time job, this is a woman who can barely spell, she can barely read, she is inarticulate, she is just not someone who anyone should be trying to emulate. At, the, at best, she is doing her best, which is subpar to a lot of us. At the end of the day, I've been watching Jasmine's channel for a very long time. She is not impressive to me. Um, she is just somebody who is getting by on YouTube and she just feels very miserable about YouTube. And my advice to her is get out of here. If you don't like it, you don't want to be here, go. Okay, guys, if you enjoy commentary like this, you feel me on this topic, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you're not subscribed here, what are you waiting for? If you think I'm 100% wrong, how dare you? How could you say these things? Comment down below and let me know your, your argument. You know how you know a bitch is mad? When I smoke a cigarette all the way to the tiny when I smoke a cigarette all the way till it's tiny, a bitch is motherfucking mad.